Hey there, my name is Athena, and I am a knitwear designer and a knitting podcaster. And this is a very special episode where I will be hosting you on my Animal Crossing game Island. As you may know, I have designed and published this pattern called the Harbin sweater, inspired by my hometown Harbin in northeastern China. And guess what? Before I became a knitter, I was a heavy Animal Crossing game fan. And I spent hundreds of hours recreating my own hometown, Harbin, in the game. And recently, I have also designed this sweater in the game so that my Animal Crossing character could wear the sweater too. So today, I'd like to take you to my Harbin-themed island and give you a little island tour. So let me pass the stage to my Animal Crossing game character and let her start today's episode. Hi there! Welcome to the Animal Crossing edition of my knitting podcast. Before the island tour, I'd like to make a small announcement that my Harbin sweater knitting pattern has been released. You can find it on Ravelry as well as on my Kofi shop. The link are provided in the description below. There will be a 15% off introductory discount in the first week of release and no coupon code is needed. This sweater is a top-down round yoke sweater and is not too hard to knit. Although there are four colors used, you would only knit two colors per row, so it can be a good beginner project for colorwork garment knitting. The motifs on the sweater are inspired by common sceneries in my hometown Harbin, and I will point out those sceneries during today's visit on my island. If you are not a knitter, you can also wear this sweater in the game. Here are my designer code and you can download this sweater design along with a few other Harbin themed designs by me to your game. First, let me show you the map of my island. You can find the dream code below and visit my island through a dream. You can also download my sweater designs during your dream visit. There is a river running through the island, and that is the Songhua River, which is a famous river in my hometown. The locations of different sites on my island were built according to the actual geographical locations in Harbin. So let's start today's visit at the airport on the southwest corner. Hello everybody! Welcome to Harbin Island! The first tourist site you will see here is the street food market. You can find the delicious fried noodle pancake here, kao lang mian, the crispy layered pancake, shou zhua bing, and the sweet sour fried pork called guo bao rou, which is my favorite local dish. Behind the street food market, there is an arcade bar. And then on the left, there is a sauna hotel, which is a common recreation place in my region. Now let's change into school uniform and visit the Harvey Number no. Three Middle School. And this was the high school that I went to. It features a traditional Chinese style architecture, which is quite interesting. On the right side, I recreated my high school classroom. Some students on the last few rows are playing board games and I recreated the school uniforms too. On the left side, I recreated the lab classroom. You can find all kinds of experimental equipment and some insect specimen here. The main building is Leopold's house. He is a teacher and his home is actually a classroom. Also, he looks like my high school desk mate, so I've been quite fond of him. Let's leave the classroom and arrive at the playground. In winter, schools in my region always turn the playground into a skating rink, and our PE classes became skating classes. I put a shoe rack here so that students can change into skating shoes. On the other side, there is a basketball ground and a gym. There is a ping pong table too. I used to take table tennis classes in high school. Let's go to the left and we arrive at the cafeteria. I used to like the spicy noodle soup in the cafeteria, so I put a spicy noodle soup booth here. Let's go to the north, across the Songhua River, and we arrive at the Taiyang Dao, which literally translates to Song Island and is a famous tourist site in Harbin. And further north, there is a small cafe and the Squirrel Marshall's house. The Sun Island is known for being a natural habitat for squirrels. 
And this pavilion is called Shui Yun Tian, which is also a famous tourist site on the Sun Island. This clip was taken on another day, so the weather is a bit different. But I want to show you the museum. There is a real dinosaur's fossil in the Provincial Museum in Harbin, but here I put a few more, just because why not? Let's go back to the airport. Heading towards the east, we arrive at the Music Plaza. Then it is the residential area. I have three cat villagers, Lolly, Kiki, and Rosie. Kiki is my favorite because my cat in real life looks just like her, and her nickname is Kiki too. Heading north, this is my partner's house. It is a historical sword museum, which is what he is into. And my garden is a small vegetable farm. Heading further north, we arrive at the famous Central Street, Zhongyang Dajie. It is a European-style pedestrian street featuring a stone walk and some European sculptures. On the left side, there is a steamed bomb booth, Baozi Pu, and a clothing shop. Let's check out the clothing shop. I put my garment designs on display, including the Harbin sweater and the cat sweater that I have knitted, and a few other designs. Let's head out the shop and walk towards the northwest. And here we arrive at the Huamei restaurant, which was an old Russian-style restaurant here in Harbin. They sell the best raisin bread. Then on the right side of the Central Street, it is the modern ice pop. It's a famous frozen treat from my hometown, and it tastes just like eggnog. Let's buy one and have it in the snowy weather. As a Harbiner, we love to eat ice pops in cold winter. On the east, it is the St. Sophia Church. This green and brown silo looks quite similar to the actual church, so I put it here. The little castle motif on my Harbin sweater is actually inspired by the St. Sophia Church. Knox lives here, and his home decor looks quite like a church. But he's not home now, so no church visit today. I put a church organ here. Let's hear Knox and I play the KK choral together. Heading further north, we arrive at the old railroad bridge. The top motif on my Harbin sweater is the bridge. Then further north, across the Songhua River, that's a newer residential area. Pay attention to the bell sound. It is a melody from a local song called Taiyang Dao Shang, or On Top of the Sun Island. I made it to be my island theme. There is a science world hidden here, let's see it. Many space exploration themed objects are on display here. Let's return to the railroad bridge and head east. Here we have a train station and a sushi bar. Then heading south, let's pass a forest. And here we arrive at the industrial region. It is also my mineral farm. Then further north, it is the farm area. We have the fruit farm, and the farmer living here is Bo, whose home looks quite rustic and fits in this area. And he has a pumpkin field too. Let's head back. There is a library. It's not anything from Harbin, I just made it for fun. If you want to skip it, you can use the Mario pipe. Let's see if I can pass the library in 10 seconds. Hey, I made it! Here we return to the cats' houses. If we go to the south, there is an amusement park. I enjoyed visiting such parks when I was little. Then we arrive at a breakfast booth. You can get soy drink, doujiao, and deep fried dough steak, yu tiao, here. Oh, how I miss the good old Chinese breakfast. Now let me show you my home decor. This is my main room. Kiki was paying me a visit when I was filming this clip. Look at the yarn ball container and the stack of iron sweaters beside the table. It is just me. There is also the vintage upright piano that I have in real life. Let's see my bedroom. This clip was filmed before the previous one. 
I just finished uploading my island dream and Kiki knocked on my door and woke me up. Let's see my kitchen. I put my favorite food on the table. There is the zongzi, which is a sticky rice dumpling wrapped in bamboo leaves. It is so delicious, I love it. I put some ciabatta bread too. I used to bake ciabatta every week. Then on the right, we enter the ice house themed bathroom. Isn't it a joy to have a hot bath in such an ice world? Then let's go upstairs. This is my toy room. I put all my favorite toys here. Look at the tassel on the blue moon. There is a fan blowing on it and the tassel is swaying. I love how Animal Crossing pay attention to these little details and make everything more realistic. Then please see my basement. This is a mad scientist lab. I also play an eerie song here. I am letting my inner mad scientist out in this room. Let's check out my partner's room. He practices historical sword fighting in a school here in Vancouver called the Academy Duello. So I recreated the school in his house. His living room is the reception of the sword school. He also teaches sword fighting in Academy Duello. And his basement is the fencing cell. Let's change into full armor and join the fight. This is a fight between Western martial arts and the Eastern martial arts. I put the typical martial art costumes of each culture on each side. Who do you think would win this fight? Okay, that is everything for this 10-minute island tour. I hope you have enjoyed it. What do you think of my Harbin Island? If you'd like to give it a closer look, feel free to visit it using a dream. If so, or if you download any of my designs or knit my Harbin sweater in real life, please do share some pictures with me. I'd love to see them. And as a tradition of my knitting podcast, I always play a piano song for you on my antique piano. Today, I'm doing it in my Animal Crossing home too. I'm playing this song called the KK Etude. You can find the footage of me playing this song in real life in my podcast episode 12. I'll put a link here. Hope you have a good day. See you next time. Bye.